Alright, this is the continuation of James Bus Tales that I left off with yesterday. Basically, I had finished off letting everybody know that if you were a nigga that was still commenting, basically understand this. If we don't know you, and by we I mean everybody that chose with me, or everybody that I've chose with in the past. If you're not somebody like that, or if you're not family or anything like that, and you up on my page and you commenting, then, you know, you can stay anonymous, and I'm not gonna bitch about it. You can do whatever you want, you know, I don't know you, so whatever. But if you are somebody I know, just, you know, common courtesy, if I don't already have you or know that that's your name, please let me know who you are so that nobody else is making a mistake of saying something and starting some nonsense before, you know, shit really gets out of hand. But, you know, I still got more to talk about. I'm not just going to end it up like this, okay? So, just so y'all know. First thing that y'all really need to know now is the, the storm march has been out here. Basically, out here right now, it's been pretty crazy. They got uh, this, you know, little storm out here going on or whatever. And uh, a bunch of hurricanes, all this nonsense. And it's just a, a lot of bullshit that's just really been pissing me off about it that I have to get off my chest. And the only way that I know how is by doing an episode of James Bus Tales. I would have been on the bus doing this, but, you know, couldn't get on the bus because of this bullshit. But uh, basically, first things first, I mean, we got two inch hail, two inch in diameter. Nigga, do you know what two inches is? Two muff... This in diameter. Get the fuck out of here. Do I want that foil on me? No. No, thank you. Second thing we got is green skies. Now, I've seen stupid storms. Seen skies turn red, whatever. Green? What the hell is that? And then it was, like, pouring ridiculously for, like, only, like, maybe 30 seconds. And then it was just gone. So, I'm like, nah, alright. But I didn't care. I was like, I'm still going to school, right? And it's like, all of a sudden, I'm seeing all the people on the news bugging out and flipping out. Like, oh, the VTI is beyond nine. We've never seen that here in Florida. The highest it's ever been is eight. I'm like, okay, what's that mean? I don't even know what the hell a VTI is. And I would have looked it up for this video, but I was like, no. So, you know, y'all want to do that research for me and then comment and make me look stupid. Feel free. And um, they, they were all bugging out. And it's like, well, make sure, you know, they're like, if you're on 19... Make sure to get off now. If you're thinking of sending kids to school, don't. But then, like, not even half an hour later, they're coming out of nowhere talking about, don't go pick your kids up from school. They've had tons of tornado drills. They know what to do. I'm like, what? So th things like that just weren't really making sense to me, and it was getting really stupid. And they came out of nowhere, you know. I was, like, I was actually leaving. I got, like, three different phone calls. Got one from Vic, got one from my girl, got one from all these people. PhD says school's closed. And, you know, don't go. You, you need to not be out there, you know? And I'm like, huh? And then I see, like, the lights are blown out, like, out there. Like, the street lights and stuff. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? So I got the call right before I left. And it didn't make sense to me, okay? PHCC is acting real stupid. How they come out and they say, uh, there are severe thunderstorms in the, in the county area. So, please find shelter. And something like that. Like, I swear to God, like... It didn't say classes were canceled. All it said was to find some type of shelter and go in it. Like, shelter where? You talking about the school? You talking about stay at my house? You talking about go find the shelter if I'm in that area? Like, what were you really trying to tell me with that message? Like, it really did not make sense to me, and I really thought it was ridiculous. So I'm like, these people are stupid. Like, who sends out a message saying that? Let me know if I'm supposed to go to class or not, because, you know, I got a class that was at 11 o'clock, and I can't go, and I'm pissed because I'm going to be at my house. And then I'm looking at the news again, and it's like, no, we still got severe thunderstorm warning until, like, probably two, because we, for all we know, that uh, although the storm's dying down now, uh, in the afternoon, it'll catch up again, and out of nowhere, like, there'll be another storm. But it said at two, which is the time of my next class. Now I can't go to my other class because of this nonsense? Like, be real. Like, what's, what's going on? They're going to send me another stupid message telling me to go back and find another shelter or some nonsense? Like, in case I got out of the first one that I was in? Like, what, what, what's really good with this? I just... <laughs> like, come on. Like, this is making no sense. I can't even, you know, figure out, like, what to even come across with words to even describe the way that I'm feeling. It's just friggin' ridiculous. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, I'm sitting down, you know, this morning. I mean, my big old bowl of what the fuck. Drinking my big old glass of some shit. And this comes out of nowhere. Like... Yo, be real. I'm trying to get out of my house. I'm trying to do the right thing, go to school, do what I got to do, and this comes up. Like, why? Why can't I just have a normal day, you know? You know? Y'all know what I'm saying, because y'all don't, y'all, that happens to you sometimes, you know? 
somebody comes and, you know, like, you go outside, you're looking all fresh and a bird shit's on your nice new shirt. You know, yeah, I know how I feel. That's pretty much what it feels like. That, that's just what it feels like. I know, it's weird. I want to go to school. Well, you think I did because, you know, shit happens. And I really want to go today. But no, now I can't because stupid stores are being gay. And, you know, that makes me angry. So I'm going to rant about it like I always do. So, <sighs> this is pretty much the end of the video. So I'm going to come up with something random for y'all. So that y'all can uh, think about something for the rest of the day. Remember that plate that I threw at 30 miles per hour on the last video? Well, it came back and it had something written across it. And it had something that said this. The next time you throw a motherfucking plate at the back of my head, be real and realize that I'm going to throw it back. P.S. Here comes another plate. I don't see it yet, but when it does come, I'll let you know. Alright, man. That's it for now. And as always, this is brought to you by Smiley Corp. And if we can't make you smile, you're not worth our while. And then so. Peace. Hello.